Ahead of the 2023 general elections in Nigeria, the Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, Most Reverend Ignatius Kaigana, has called on political office seekers to pay attention to the security situation of the country and strategize on how to address the insecurity in the country. Kaigana made this call during his homily at St. Matthias Mulumba Pastoral Area, Azata Kurudu, Abuja. Everybody is talking of who will be the president and how much they will gain from that. If he becomes a president, what they will gain, what they will benefit. People are not talking of how they are going to strategize to overcome the situation of insecurity. Even those who are campaigning now, I am sure they are not thinking about the situation of insecurity. They are just thinking about capturing our power. And it is only when they become president or governor, they say, oh, but I did not know that things were like this. You are campaigning with all your energy, doing everything, and you want to be there. And then you get there and say, I did not know it was like this. So we are telling those who are campaigning right now to include in their political calculations the strategies and the deliberate measures they are going to take in order to overcome this terrible and unfortunate situation of insecurity. If you are not thinking about that, you are only thinking of winning, you are only thinking of how you are going to allocate position to your friends, your family, your people and your political associates, then we have already failed. We must be thinking of strategies the Archbishop also frowned at inability of the present government to tackle insecurity despite the assurance that insecurity will be a thing of the past. We never thought we would be in this kind of situation. We were told that Boko Haram and many other terrible groups like this would be a thing of the past. But now they have increased, they have multiplied and they are doing more terrible damage. The kidnappers or terrorists are said to be so bold today that they will even demand for money, they will demand for foodstuff, demand for motorcycles, and I'm told, even weapons. They will say, bring us so many motorcycles, bring us so many weapons, and then we will release your people to you. And then we do it. People take this money and items to them. And not only that, every time we are talking with them on the phone, you know, we call, they call us, we call them, and we are negotiating. And then I ask the question, why can we not do something? You see that the Nigerian authorities are so unwilling or incapable? What is the problem? That these people are talking to us, these people are negotiating, collecting money, guns, and um, foodstuff and all that from us and we cannot tell who they are and we always say they are unknown people.